Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to discuss about reference variables uh, which are used in C++. So before starting, I want to share my information with you. You can uh, note my contact number and email ID uh, so that you can discuss uh, difficult topics with me. You can visit my website. You can download my app TechMS from Google Play Store. It contains uh, tutorials regarding C, C++, PHP, Java, ethical hacking, etc. You can download PPTs by following tutorial.techmis.in link. You can read various books related to programming languages and you can subscribe and watch my YouTube channel uh, so that you can uh, learn programming easily uh, for your study and placement purposes. So follow the information. Now coming on to reference variable. So reference variable is very important uh, tool for C++ programming. Uh, it was not available in C++, but it is sorry. It was not available in C language, but but it is available in uh, C++. So uh, now I am uh, going to explain the concept of reference variable with the help of this uh, easy example. So in the first statement, uh, you can notice that I have declared a variable int a equals to five. So this is a normal variable. Uh, a uh, is uh, a has assigned a value five and it is of integer type. Uh, in second statement, I have declared a variable b and I have used ampersand variable with it. So whenever uh, uh, you use ampersand with a variable at the time of its creation, then that variable uh, becomes reference variable and it is taking the reference of a. So you can say that here b is a reference variable and uh, uh, reference variable always uh, take reference of another variable. So now I'm going to explain the theoretical concept of reference variable with the help of these points. So first point says reference variable does not occupy any memory space of its own. So it means uh, whenever we create reference variable in a program, they do not uh, occupy their own memory space means they share the memory of already allocated variables. So this is written in point number two. So here B is reference variable means it will not occupy any memory space. It will share the memory of A. So uh, it means uh, if we change value of actual variable, then reference variable also get affected and vice versa. So uh, if I uh, relate this point with the example, uh, so uh, if I, I modify a value of A, then B will automatically access the modified value. And if, if I modify the value of B, then A will uh, access the modified value. It means both are pointing same location. So uh, uh, if uh, modification uh, is done on a single uh, variable means A or B, then another will uh, occupy or access the uh, changed value. So benefit of reference variable is that we can save memory by making alias of variables. It means uh, we do not have to uh, uh, provide extra memory space for reference variable. Uh, we can make clones of already declared variables and those clones are known as reference variable. So friends, uh, you can use the, these reference variable in the uh, function calling method, which is call by reference. So call by reference will only be implemented with the help of reference variable concept. So it is a very easy concept and you can uh, underst understand this concept with the help of uh, the slide which I have uh, which I have explained to you. So uh, I hope you have understood the concept of reference variable. Uh, again, you can note down my information. These information or uh, material uh, will be helpful for your study and placement purposes. So follow these information. Thank you for watching this video.